I'm out in the studio today and I'm going to start by tidying all this up. Then in maybe an hour we're going to start filling holes in this wall so that it's ready for painting. Good King Winslow's looked out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel When a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel Hither, page, and stand by me, if I know it telling. Yonder peasant, who is he? Where and what his dwelling? Sire, he lives a good league hence, underneath the mountain, right against the forest fence, by St. Agnes Fountain.
make good progress on the studio today. Um, so now Timmy's free and able to help me mix the the sand cement for the holes in the walls. And then we're going to patch the holes because um, tomorrow it's getting painted. My father-in-law says he's going to help us come and paint, which is so good. So this whole area is to paint. Plus this masonry has to paint. Actually, I don't know if the plasterboard's getting painted tomorrow. I think we need more filler and to then sand it all. But yeah, this is the stage we're at now. It's nice to see a clear floor. <laughs> jumper it's very careful to try and not get paint on it I thought I would just sit down for a few moments and I'll show you what I am working on my mittens the progress on them it's going well I haven't um, knit on many other projects recently just because I haven't had time my next knitting time will be tomorrow night but I made good progress last night so I'll show you what it looks like it's in my woolen flower bag. I got this quite a few years ago at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Um, and I am using used wool, as I think I said in the last vlog, but maybe you didn't see that one. This is a little mitten kit in my shop. And I have finished the first mitten. And I'm so pleased with it. And I have started the second mitten. So this is what it looks like. I've just put the thumb on scrap yarn last night. The whole of it, I did this in one day. So I'm really, wow, kind of amazed that I did this. Hello. All in one day. So, and I still have loads of yarn left. So definitely this will finish this one. I'm probably knit a, a little pair for my daughter. So I'll show you what this looks like. It fits really well. It's quite a tight fitting. I used the smallest size, um, but I think that's good because mittens have a tendency to slip off. It could really do with a good block, but oh, it's so nice and warm. And I think it'll be really nice with my warm red coat that I got a while ago. So yeah, I think this looks good. I hope there's not too much stress on the thumb here, but I think it should be fine. I think I made a little mistake when I was weaving in my end here. You can see there's a little um, oh, delivery. <laughs> Thanks. Wee cup of tea in my Laura Boyd ceramics mug. <laughs> These were in the shop in 
September. So, ooh, chai, nice. Now, I'm really tempted just to keep this mitten on, but I will not. So the next projects are the next things I'm planning to do with my knitting. Um, after I finish this, it, obviously when I block it, I think it's only going to be two to three more nights work and it'll be finished. Then I plan on continuing with my Ian sweater. It's at kind of not super exciting stage. It's a very simple knit anyway. So I'm just going to do that at my leisure. I want to knit a December bow for my hair and I would like to swatch for my Ainsley so that's the things I want to do in December-ish and um, particularly the December bow I'd like to have it done so that I can wear it on Christmas day and um, the dress that I talked about in my winter knitting video that I bought I want to hem that because yes one of you said how do you find the length because I know you're quite short with toast definitely that dress is a bit too long um, it looked good in the shop but then the more I wear it the more I think yeah it's a wee bit too long so I'm going to hem that so I'm going to try it out first with you know that um, tape you get you can iron on that hems thing so I'm going to get that and try it on see see if it's nice at the length that I'm thinking of so I'm just going to try them both on together I cannot wait to wear these so that's my upcoming knitting plans. I would like to knit a Maxine hot water bottle cover um, by Laura Penrose. That's just been released. And I need to sort, I think I'd use my natural sock held double for that. With, I've got loads of minis, so I'll just use all of my minis. And I would use undyed as the main color, um, I think. So, but that might be a January knit. I have a naked hot water bottle that needs a cover. So <laughs> that is my, Plan. There's someone at the window. We are not alone. So tonight I'm going to a wreath making workshop. I'm actually helping at it. So I might, if I remember, take a little bit of footage. But if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>